You've, you've claimed that Mr. Lloyd is incompetent, therefore he is not, he cannot make his own decision. So what did he say? Go talk to him for a minute while we try and get this connected. And just so that the record is clear, Mr. Lloyd has actually went into the hallway that leads to the holding cells and took himself out of the courtroom. The court has not given him permission to leave. Defense is claiming he's incompetent, which means he doesn't have any, he can't waive his presence. So. Ms. Miller, he's manifested that behavior since the day he was arrested. There's nothing about his behavior today that is any different from anything that's happened before when he has been examined and found competent to proceed. I don't know whether he's competent or not. That's what we have doctors for. He's the doctor that I that we appointed. There's another doctor that got appointed. It's a female doctor, but I don't remember her name. But Dan Zinger's the one. Ruiz, yeah. So I'm aware of the fact there's more than one doctor that's, he refused to talk to Dr. Dan Zinger. And Dr. Ruiz was then appointed, and she did the evaluation and found him competent to proceed. We have a standard order that is entered on these evaluations. I will not delay this evaluation because of unavailability of defense counsel. The sentencing is set for March 3rd. We can get all these evaluations done prior to that and have a competency hearing. If he's competent, we'll go forward. If he's not, we won't. Yeah. 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 Thanks. Sure. He needs to come back in the courtroom. I'm asking for an opportunity to be sure. Speak Absolutely. Of course, at the rate we're going, I don't know that we're ever going to connect to Dr. Amador. It's Monday. <laughs> 